for me, launching a business isn't just about the initial launch. What I'm going to cover today is more about how you get yourself out there and get people together so then that they know about your company. I'm going to look at a couple of different things. What is a good business before you start? The actual launch, how to keep it going after that. Ultimately, people forget what the whole principle behind getting out there and doing some sort of launch is about. And that's where I've found that people sometimes launch too early. Now, Matt's answered. He's got two things. He's launched his own business. He's in year two. And you're also running the self-employment pathway for the community voluntary, voluntary services and tendering. And one of the biggest things is getting people to engage. I go back to complete basics on this. And we stop doing business to business and business to consumer marketing for the simple reason that people buy from people. And if you don't get that right, it doesn't matter whether it's the CEO of a council whether it's the CEO of a building firm, whether it's the senior partner in solicitors, or whether it's that little person who purely is, um, you know, just trying to purchase something very, very small. At the end of the day, you have to build a relationship in some form, whether it be online, whether it be your branding, whether it be how you are person to person to pitch that. So the next thing is really why are you doing it? That fits in with where the launch comes and how you deal with it. And I've got on the screen, if you can see it, a huge amount of or a list of things, job, income, prestige, pride, control, doing it for yourself rather than someone else and just getting paid for it. When you're starting your business or you've got your business, this is the real checklist that I've got on the screen at the moment. And I've run for it, just very basic. Why are you doing what you're doing? So when you do a launch, who are your customers? Why are you doing this? What is it I need to consider? And how do I make this work to pay? When you're doing something to pay, you have to think about how that works around the whole thing. That's where are your customers coming from and where is the profit? And what we often find is people go out too wide. You have to know who they are and whether they will pay you. If we have done a business plan and you've gone through your numbers or at least have done the numbers and you've done your research for your customer, you need to look at how that then comes across to your branding. Now, I have a slide, I think it's much later on, which is about um, your brand is what people say when you're not in the room. And that's Jeff, the founder of Amazon. So when you're starting a business or you're going back to refresh a business, your brand isn't necessarily just a logo. And that's something that I found um, that takes time to establish. So when you're looking at building your brand, you need consistency. People like consistency. And there's also some research that's been done recently in sales that if it's a product that people don't go in and buy, they need up to six follow ups. So. There's two types of real launch. So if you're going to get your, your business out there, you've got a physical launch or you go the virtual launch. Really early days, physical launches, unless you've got the people to turn up for something very special, they aren't always the best thing to do. And I mentioned earlier on, sometimes, particularly with business type customers, they don't necessarily all want to get together. And the biggest thing is when you do launch, you need to be clear on your vision. What are you trying to achieve? 